So, recently discussing with a couple of the lads um, some horror movies that are coming out recently, I was asked, you know, my thoughts on most on you know certain films. My response was, I'll be honest, I'm probably not going to bother. I mean, let's face it, the trailers look like the same thing we've always seen. But look, you've heard me doing this, right? So, I was asked my opinion of Oculus, um, to which I responded, uh, well, what is it, a haunted mirror? So, um, apparently I was right. I've never seen the trailer, all I've ever seen is the poster. I can't be this good. However, apparently ye can be that predictable. I'm sorry guys, but come on. I know I've said this before. But, once again, the horror movies that are coming out, if I can tell what the entire storyline is going to be from a poster, then where's the mystery, the terror, the, the bowel-loosening madness that should ensue from any decent horror movie? I mean, you know, the last couple of ones that you've come up with, you know, I know that there's a lot of stories that have been done. I know there's a lot of subject matter that's been done. I know there's only so much that you can do. I know that there's only so many times I can repeat myself on this subject. However, how difficult can it be to not give the story away with your posters? You know, I mean, half the time I see horror movies, I don't bother watching the trailer because I see the poster and go, oh, they've done a different version of this film, or they've done a different version of that film, or, wait a minute, hang on a second, did they actually just explain the plot by having every major scene of the movie basically shown in their trailer? Well, you just saved me any money that I may or may not have bothered spending in the cinema. Probably not, to be perfectly honest. Uh, perhaps it would be better to... Perhaps it would be better to stick with... I don't know, maybe watching more independent stuff. I mean, I certainly know that I never know what the story is going to be when I pick up a film and kind of look at the DVD in case go and go... Yep, I've never heard of this before in my life. Let's give it a spin. Now, I admit, sometimes they turn out to be crap. Sometimes they, they turn out to be gems, you know. That little horror movie that, that could, people said, Oh, no, don't bother watching that, it's low budget. Oh, don't bother watching that, it's a bunch of students. Oh, don't bother watching that because, why? I'd rather watch some big budget thing that I've figured out either by watching the trailer, hearing about the trailer, or seeing the poster. No, I think I'll go with the, 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 the low budget, nice surprise. Yes, obviously budget does count when it comes to films, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because of a former discussion, I digress anyway. Obviously budget is important to films. It is important because, you know, it's really cool when you're able to make something really scary. However, budget isn't necessarily the only thing and the most important thing when it comes to films. In fact, I dare say budget should be that little price tag that says, okay, here is what we're going to do, here's how much we have to do it, um... Let's make sure that we get the costumes, the sets, and everything, you know, cameras, all that. And if we can fit in some special effects, cool. If we can't, let's go with that tried and tested thing of, um, well, you know, storyline. You don't need budget, you don't need big horror effects, you don't need nothing like that. As long as you have a story, as long as you have a premise, as long as you have the ability to make the viewer, to make the reader, to make the person that is interacting with this story actually stop and kind of go, eh, then you're on the right track. Most of the big budget movies that have come out, you get <gasps> you know, the occasional fright. But the only reason you're getting the occasional fright is because they've gone for that little cheap pop because they know that their story isn't worth a crap. You've heard it all a thousand times before and there's nothing original or terrifying about it. Maybe we've become desensitized. Maybe we're just not as scared as we used to be. Maybe someone has to try and think of a new idea of scaring a people that have turned zombies into TV shows, that have turned, don't get me wrong, that kind of stuff is awesome now, I'm all for it, that have turned, you know, um, 19th century fictional horror characters that used to make people wet themselves into TV shows. Once again, I am all for this kind of thing. Don't get me wrong, 100% behind it. Unfortunately, the drawback is we are getting jaded. We've always been jaded when it came to certain things, and I think that the movies, when it comes to horror, because there was that bit of a boom in you know the fantasy and the sci-fi there a few in the last few years, there's also been that bit of a boom in the horror movies. Unfortunately, it's not really encouraging any original storylines. I wanted to. I really wanted to. I'd really love to see it doing it. What it seems to be encouraging, though, is let's cash in by throwing a big budget and an old familiar thing and tweak a couple of things, and it's all right, people will buy it and sell it. Bah. But how long until that gets boring and you want to stop? Think about it. The next time that you want to go along, and this is for all big budget people, next time you want to go along and make a big budget horror movie and throw loads of money at it, stop. Think. 
is this actually going to scare the audience or am I just lining my pockets? End of discussion. <laughs>